Hello. <laughs> hey everyone, it's JJ for Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator and we're back with episode 4 of You Ask, We Answer, our series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comment section of our videos. Woo woo! I have a whole bunch of questions to answer you guys, so I'm really excited. But before I get started, I got a question um, in our comment section about my favorite anime based on the awesome Dragon Ball Z shirt that I wore. and. Dragon Ball Z is not my favorite anime, but if you want to know what my favorite anime is, I will refer to my cool new shirt. So if you guys know where this is from, shout out to you. So let's get started with our first question. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got here? So our first question is from Randolph Angulo. Is there any way to increase contrast, brightness, color on a video? Great question. Yes, Randolph, there is a way that you can adjust the color in your video. Um, it's actually in the advanced color tool, which I believe George goes into in another video. So I will link that video in the description box below and he'll go over all of that awesome information for you. So yeah, check that video out. Go, go for it. <laughs> so next question. All right, so this question is from Xavier Martinez. Hello. What are some tips for making a thumbnail? How do you even make a thumbnail? Because upon uploading, I uploaded it straight from Filmora export button and it picked a thumbnail on its own instead of the one that I could have made. So thanks for that question, Xavier. So first of all, unfortunately at this time, you can't um, upload a custom thumbnail to your um, videos when you export directly from Filmora. However, if you do have a verified account, what you can do is you can go into the Creator Studio where your video is uploaded and you can upload your own custom thumbnail. So you can do it there on your YouTube channel. So we did get a lot of questions about how to make a thumbnail, which is an awesome topic. Um, and we've decided that we're gonna create that video on its own. So instead of doing it today in Yawa, stay tuned for that video. We're gonna discuss all about thumbnails, how to create them, some tips and tricks, and all that good stuff. All right, so stay tuned for that. Get in the box, Trevor. <laughs> this question is from Mariah Sadiq Muthar. How do you do fast motion and slow motion to your videos? So, great question. So we do have speed options in Filmora and I'm gonna show you all of that right now. You'll need to open Filmora and add a video clip to your timeline. Next, navigate to the edit options by clicking this icon right over here or right click on your clip and click edit. This is where you can adjust the speed by sliding the button or inputting the number on the side. If you want to see how you can use speed effects in Filmora in a fun way, check out our video on speed effects, which I will link in the description box below. Next question. <laughs> so, the next question comes from Awesome to Epic. Cool name. Can you dab? Can I dab? Is dabbing still cool? I'm gonna try it. I mean, I might disappoint a couple. Or is it two hands? Is it two hands? Yeah. I don't know. Sorry guys, I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm not cool enough to do this, to do the dabs. Next question. Okay, from Carby Movie. Hello. Thanks for your question. Hello, JJ. I just love using Filmora. Aw, thank you. Can I use two or three text lines at the same time of a video. Um, yes, you can. You can actually add two or three text lines. Actually, you can add up to five. So let's check that out and I'm gonna show you that right now. So at the very bottom of the timeline, there is a button that says add new track. You see that there? So click that and you can add up to five extra text tracks. So we also have an in-depth video on adding text in your videos with Matt using Filmora, which I will also link in the description box below. So check that one out if you want more information on adding text to your videos. All right, next question. From the OFW Project. Could you do the Goku Frieza tandem in your shirt with your co-star who is tall? You could be Frieza and he could be Goku, just a suggestion. That's actually awesome and you know what? Yes, I'm definitely gonna do it. And you're gonna see it right now. I think I would make a really cool Frieza. I think I'm strong enough against Matt, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's get into our next question. Let's 
see. All right, from Tiger T Games. Hi, JJ. Hello. How do you put a video in front of a background picture? All right, so that's actually an awesome question, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now in Filmora. So let's check that out. All right, so to add a video in front of a background, you will need to use the main track and also a PIP track. So first, add the background picture you want on your main track. Then, add the video that you want to appear in the front to the PIP track. Now, just adjust the video on the PIP track so the background can be seen and you are done. Awesome. Thank you guys for all of your questions. Please keep them coming. We love to make these videos for you. So if there is something that you guys want to know in Filmora or about our team, make sure to put them in the comment section of our videos. And we'll see you guys in our next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see ya!